Reminisce on dangerous summers with just a thug nigga working for drug dealers in the neighborhood. Run up out of age of 13, we was gunning and it was fun to see the police running. Niggas disappear when we come and live. Nappy head shorty, you pick it to drink it 40. My niggas is naughty and your niggas is fucking corny. But you left me in the summer of 89. A very good year. Crack cocaine sales roll. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's Beamer Fonz. And today's video, I am going over how to install a catch can and I may do a uh, temperature gauge but that might that'll be in the future um or that'll be another upload I'm probably gonna install it today and record it today but that'll be another upload so I'm going to go over how to install a catch can slash do a PCV bypass because these PCV systems yeah PCV um, are not very good. Mine failed and it caused a huge vacuum leak as you can see in my other videos and it caused a bunch of issues that was like stalling and idling bad. It was not fun to drive. That's in one of my last videos. You can check that out if you want to. But yeah, so I installed a catch can and the car has been amazing to drive ever since. So I figured I would do a video on it. So here we are. Um, obviously first you're going to need a catch can. This is just a no-name one. Um, and you are going to need some one-inch hose for the crankcase. Then you're going to need, well, whatever. You can use whatever, really. Anything one inch or less, as long as you have an adapter. I'm using one inch hose to three quarter inch hose just because that's what I have and then I'm using where did it go great I lost my brass fitting oh it's right here then I'm using one of these guys it's gonna go in there actually I'll just stick it in right now because no way no way Okay, well, now I gotta get that out of there somehow without taking the manifold off, so I'll be right back. Okay, that was a minor setback, but I've pressed it in there just because I didn't want to drop it again. So you're gonna get your hose from there going to here, then you're gonna get your adapter piece to go on your catch can, because your catch can fitting is gonna be much smaller than that. Or you can go and get a different uh, piece for your catch can so that you just use one hose all the way. That is up to you. So then, oh sorry, I don't know why I pointed here. This is the inline. Um, this is my old inline, and you can see I had it butchered. This is why I'm changing everything to this nice, proper fittings, because this looks terrible. Like all this gunk. This is because of the vacuum leak, and I will show you guys, or you guys can go check the other video and see but it was i it was a nightmare do not do what i did okay so then once you have this set up you're gonna get your other line i stuck that in there already and you're gonna plug it in and then it's gonna go to your in so i'm gonna hook up the in tube and then i'll show you where the outline goes okay so i've got my second line cut and also don't forget to teflon your fittings if you don't teflon them you may or may not get a leak but if you're pulling vacuum like I am like if you're using this to pull vacuum from the engine you definitely want to Teflon the fittings because <coughs> water and oil is one thing water and oil might not leak through there but air I don't you can't really get much thinner than air so you definitely want to uh, Teflon those so once you've got those all buttoned up then you're gonna hook up your hose like this and like this and then we will get to the outline okay wow this looks so much better than how i had it before no hose clamps because these are hydraulic pressure fit hoses so you don't need hose clamps so gets rid of that and it just looks so much better look at these these are what i was using before this was the down tube and I didn't even have a clamp on here because the vacuum was holding it in place. But as soon as you would hit like decent amount of throttle, the hose would pinch like that and it would suck in. Especially when it got hot, these tubes are not very... These are from Canadian Tire Home Depot. Do not use these. 
because they do not hold enough uh, pressure. The ones with the little um, reinforcement inside, those might work, but they look ugly. Okay, so enough of that. Now that you've got your inline all plumbed, you can see I've got this hose adapted to the one inch hose there. It fits very snug though, so there will not be a leak there. Um, knock on wood, I should say that. Don't jinx myself. So then your outline, so this is your inline for me. Yours might be different. And then your outline is gonna come down and you're gonna have one thing here, one um, inlet from the PCV valve from the manifold, and then you're going to have another one here. And then you're going to have where it comes out of the PCV valve. So what I did is I cut the middle of that T down there, and I made my own T fitting. And or Sorry, it's not a T fitting down there, it's just a straight tube. And then I put a T fitting in there, and I teed it off from here. And then I used the same line as I did here, which is, I believe, 5 8 to the from to the catch can, then five eighths from the catch can, adapted to three quarters, and then three quarters. What I actually have for this one on the bottom there, because three quarters is a bit big for the fitting I have. What I did was, I took one of the, I took some of this squishy tube, I cut it, and I sleeved it over the three quarters fitting. And then I sleeve the tube over that so that it has something to clamp down onto and so that no air will escape past it. So that is how that is plumbed up. Now, oh, and for the where I cut it, you can see I just, I simply just cut it and I added some tube there, hose clamped it to the T. Same thing for this side. There, you, you guys can see way better in there now. It doesn't look pretty, but it seals very good. This is one spot I never had a vacuum leak from. There's goo there because I thought I did, but it has never leaked from this spot as long as you use the proper size hose. If the hose fits too tight, that is better than too loose. Like, too tight is way better than too loose. So keep that in mind if you guys are doing this. But once you've got everything plumbed up, make sure what the hell was that oh it was my socket make sure all your sensors are plugged in if you had the manifold off i did have the manifold off to do this um well to do the t thing down there i had to have the manifold off some people have said that they did this without taking the manifold off i have no idea how but if you can all the power to you so let's go and start it up and see See if it idles better. It should. Wow, that is butter smooth. Wow, that is smooth. It's even smoother than it was before I did this because I guess I still had a very, 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 very slight vacuum leak. The exhaust even smells better. It smells like the fuel mixture is better. Before it smelled kind of like, I don't know, like brake cleaner kind of. Now it smells like actual fuel. So yeah, for those of you that want to install a catch can, it isn't too hard. You just have to make sure that you get the right hoses and the right adapters. Adapters, like, so I didn't explain this to you guys. The reason I didn't have a clamp on here was because these two hose diameters are not quite tight together. So when you put a hose clamp on here and you squeeze it, look what happens. You get an air gap on the side. So I was having a vacuum leak about that big and it was causing so many issues you would not believe that much air coming and it's not supposed to can cause so many issues so if you guys are having any kind of vacuum leak issues or idling issues that your idle is dropping and not revving up and down if it's dropping check your pcv system and possibly install a catch can because it solved a lot of my issues and now 
I don't have to go under the intake manifold to do any of that garbage. It's just all right there. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm really trying to get this channel monetized so I can post multiple videos a week. Um, so if this content is what you guys are looking for, feel free to uh, drop a like and subscribe below. Even comment if you have anything to add. Beamer Fawns, out. Have a good day, guys. Okay, I'm just adding a little update to my previous video because there was a small vacuum leak and it was from down there where I did the little sleeve thing. But it seems to be better without the hose clamp on. I'm assuming because it was doing the same thing I mentioned earlier. But we will see. I'm going to take it for a drive and we will see what happens. Hopefully all is good and it doesn't idle funny but anything can happen i guess also i changed up the mounting way i had zip ties doing what this is doing so now it's sturdy whoa